just so you can really close to the beginning line. There might be a little bit of white showing through from the drum. Then I take the scissors and again, this is like what you need about you need at least an inch. I tend to cut a little more than that. Just sort of cut down along here. So I have some extra to fold under and finish it off. It doesn't have to be, it should be fairly straight, but you're going to make it straight by your fold. And this we'll probably use for a band around the top. So then I have just this little flap to use. So I sort of eyeball it, turn it down, start working my way down, try to make it as straight as I can. Pressing on it and folding, working my way down. And now with this pattern, I already see as I came around, I didn't really stay straight all the way, but for me, that's okay. For you, it might not be okay, and you might want to take your fabric off and even do it over. It's up to you. So, I'm going to get a pair of glasses for this step. Alright, now, that looks pretty good. Just sort of folded it under. I can work with it as I'm doing it. So then I take a little glue and put it along, don't need much, had too much there, put it along this spot that's at the end. This stuff dries clear, so got a little messed up there, I'll get rid of it. So you don't have to worry too much about dripping or anything. Then I start to work my way, I'm going to come over here, around and press down on this fold I did, sort of checking it out as I go. There may be some other ways of finishing at this side too that you'll come up with and that's completely okay. Maybe easier or faster than what I'm doing. That's the fun of these drums. They sort of encourage you to think of creative ways to do it easier as well as ways to use them. So now I'm going to put, it's not sticking as much as I want it to, so I'm going to put more glue just sort of across here and press, keep pressing down on it and spreading the glue out. Like I said, it dries clear so you don't have to worry about it. Press down on that fold. I suppose you could even cut your fabric and do a lot of measurements and maybe even iron just fold in and have it all work out. I'm not sure, but that's something you could try. Now, because I didn't cut mine off ahead of time, uh, I have a lot of extra material. So, again, I'm going to say, okay, that's where I have to turn it under. I need about that much, so that's what I'm going to cut off, and hopefully this will just rip also all the way around. But I'm going to keep my eye on it in case there's something I missed and it gets too short. So far, so good. This is a good thing about cotton. You have to be careful though with some designs if it's really cheap cotton fabric. Which is great to use for a drum because it makes it cheaper, but 
Sometimes they're not printed straight, so when you do this ripping thing, it really doesn't uh, work as well. I messed up my fold back here, so I'm going back to play with that a little. Now, let me check this out. Okay. Now what I do is I go around and I trim all this in the pattern of the legs. If there are no legs, you simply at this at this point you'll be fine because it'll be all straight and you just turn it under and glue it. But I'm going to have to trim. like this, sort of like matching the legs. And the last thing to do before you start gluing is to notch at the curves, which means we just come in here and we make a slit, several slits. This is probably better with the regular slits. to the edge. And you do that in each curve. Now I have all the little notches done and also trimmed these edges to within about an inch or an inch and a half of the end because they'll see this will be put down this way and these will come around the side. So now it's another gluing thing where you And I actually like to use my fingers for this. It's messy, but it seems to work better. So I put a bunch of glue on the inside of the sauna tube. Maybe you can see that white there. And then a bunch of glue on the fabric. Just be generous. Then you just press up into the inside and press down your pieces. Like that. So from the outside, it looks like that. And you just go all the way around and do that. So, voila! All of the fabric is glued into the inside. Uh, at this stage, I, I'd like to say I encourage everybody to not put notches here and have it straight across. Uh, you, um, depending on your purposes, because this is a time. This is a takes a little more time to get these in there. And um, also the drums last longer and are sturdier without the notches. Because if you use them with kids, because of the size, kids tend to, it's just the right size for them, first graders, second graders, kindergarten, to push down on them. And then these legs really tend to collapse and you have to cut them off anyway. But 